Action. Action. Hello, my name is John Lyon. I'm an Indiana Wesleyan bachelor student. Uh, and I've got to read, we're going to do a, a focused physical assessment on my patient here in just a moment. I have to read a, a, a statement before we get started. I understand that the following information will be gathered and utilized for educational purposes by an Indiana Wesleyan University student. I give my permission for this information gathering and physical assessment to be filmed and posted on Blackboard for access by faculty and students at Indiana Wesleyan University. The video will be deleted by the student as soon as it has been reviewed and graded, and graded. I further acknowledge that this is for educational purposes only and the information is not meant for to be diagnosed, diagnostic. Therefore, Indiana Wesleyan University, the faculty and staff, as well as the student are not considered liable. My patient is a 49-year-old female. She just came in from revival to the doctor's office. She was having some shortness of breath that has uh, gotten worse over the past three days. Uh, when she came in the clinic, we got a weight, we got vital signs, did, got blood pressure, pulse ox, heart rate, temperature, uh, respiratory rate, uh, and I'm getting ready to introduce myself to the patient as her nurse. Hello, my name is John Lyon. Hello. I'm an mm -hmm. RN over at uh, Frankfurt Regional Medical Center, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I understand that you've got some short, you've had some shortness of breath. Yes, I started about three days ago, but I was at the revival tonight, and it just seemed like I was getting more short of air. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, did it, uh, does it get, is it worse when you get it move around, or does it just continuously just continue just to get worse? Well, it's much worse if I get up and move around and walk, but, you know, even at rest, I'm still a little short of air. Okay. What kind of past medical history do you have? Well, I've got some coronary artery disease, and I've got some high blood pressure and some diabetes. Okay. Do you take any medications at home? I do. I take medicine for my heart, and I take medicine for my diabetes. Okay. What kind of medication do you take for your heart? I take metoprolol to help my heart and helps my blood pressure, and I take... Um, a sugar pill, but I don't remember exactly what my sugar pill is. Okay. I take it twice a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, if I, if you're able to, mm -hmm. if you're able to, can you lean back for just a minute? Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to you breathe. Okay. Okay. Just take a deep breath for me. Exhale. Again. Exhale. Again. Just breathe normally and listen to your heart. Um, normally what I should find is I should hear uh, good, clear, equal breath sounds on, in all lobes. However, what I'm hearing from you today is I'm hearing rails. Mm -hmm. kind of sounds like when your hair gets rubbed together right by mm -hmm. your ear mm -hmm. in the bases of your lungs. Mm -hmm. It's usually indicative of a little bit of fluid. Mm -hmm. Um, also, when I listen to your heart, it sounded a little muffled, a little distant, mm -hmm. and I should be able to hear it really good. I should hear very, very well, but I'm not hearing that today, so I'm, con I'm concerned that you might have a little congestive heart failure. Uh, another thing we're going to do is I'm going to look at your bottom of your legs here, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for pedal edema. Uh -huh. I, do. I do happen okay. to find at the moment a plus two pitting edema. Now, we notice that, uh, do you know about how much you weigh? About 200 pounds. Okay. Because what we got on the scales was about 208. 208. Mm -hmm. um, that, may have, that may have occurred over the last three days. Mm -hmm. Water weight, as you know, is the easiest way to gain mm -hmm. and lose weight. Um, some of the medications that we might be looking at uh, to help help with this. Well, you're on metropolol, which is a good medication. Mm -hmm. It's a beta blocker. It also it helps uh, decrease preload and afterload of your heart. Mm -hmm. So it helps the heart work really well. Mm -hmm. um, probably looking at maybe some Lasix. Mm -hmm. uh, what it does is it decreases the amount of fluid in your body, mm -hmm. also reduces the amount of workload on the heart. Mm -hmm. It'll also help you breathe easier because it'll help get rid of the fluid that's in your lungs right now. Okay. Okay. Another medication that there, that's very possible is called Coreg. 
Uh, Coreg is a medication that really helps the heart beat better. Uh, so we've got a little alpha, a little beta properties, and it really helps that heart, the contractility be really work mm -hmm. really well. Makes it squeeze better? It makes it squeeze much okay. better. Okay. That's right. Um, so you came from Revival. Um, do you have family members with you? Yes. Um, my son's with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can get him back here shortly. We'll get, get that taken care of. Okay. But in the meantime, what I need to do is I want to get... Put you, on a, put you on a monitor, so we'll put electrodes here, here, and here, uh -huh. and that will give us a tracing of your heart. Okay. Okay. We're also going to draw some blood, and we're going to send blood to the lab. We're going to check for uh, uh, your CBC, which is complete blood count. Uh -huh. We're going to check your CM, your CMP, which is a complete or a comprehensive metabolic panel. Uh -huh. It's going to tell us things like uh, what your electrolytes are looking like, your uh -huh. sodium, your potassium, uh -huh. uh, how well your kidneys are working. Uh -huh. And then we're going to also check another lab called the BNP. Mm -hmm. uh, BNP is very specific mm -hmm. to find out about uh, congestive heart failure. It tells, okay. you, it tells us how much um, fluid you have on your body. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw blood. We'll send that down. It's going to take probably an hour to two hours before we get that result back. Okay. In the meantime, we're probably going to go get started. Give me some Lasix. Okay. So I'm going to have to start an IV. All right. We'll start an IV. Uh, usually use... For congestive heart failure, we usually use a bigger size needle, usually about a 20 gauge. Okay. Um, and then we'll hang some fluids, just KVO, just to kind of keep the vein open. Uh -huh. So we'll give you Lasix. Uh, another thing that we do typically do is if you're in a severe case of congestive heart failure, we'll use a catheter. What that does is just helps allow you to be able to get rid of the fluid as fast as we're, you know, giving the Lasix. Uh -huh. So that helps uh, get that fluid off a little quicker, helps you breathe easier. Okay. Uh, other medications that we might think about, if that's not working, is we might think about uh, maybe some uh, uh, inhalers, uh, maybe to help come open up the airway and help mm -hmm. you breathe a little easier. But anyway. Um, so the fluid medicine will help with that swelling that's in my legs that I've been having. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because what, happen, what happens is, well, with the congestive heart failure, fluid will back up, and as it backs up, it backs mm -hmm. up into the lungs. It's all tripping back up into the body. So it backs up into the body, backs up into the legs, mm -hmm. creates things like JDD. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have any of that stuff, then it's just a severe case of congestive heart failure. Okay. It's a good thing. Uh, so we'll be showing LASIK, or we'll be showing you probably just a, a prescription for core okay. uh, And then we will start working on getting you out of here. nursing diagnosis that I'm going to be working with, or that we're working with, is a decreased uh, cardiac output secondary to the congestive heart failure um, as, a, as the excess fluid puts pressure on the heart itself. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you take your medications as prescribed. Mm -hmm. keep your, uh, we're probably going to refer you to a cardiologist. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep your doctor's appointments. Mm -hmm. um, um, Probably start watching your salt intake. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start talking, you know, start giving some information about dietary okay. uh, uh, issues as well. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, no. You've explained everything really well. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. That is uh, my focused uh, health assessment on a uh, middle-aged person with congestive heart failure. Thank you very much.